they're usually like glimpses of bits of um, melody and fragments of, uh, of a verse. But sometimes I forget where it started. Things just converge, you know? I mean, sometimes it might take months. I might write a verse and a chorus or whatever and then go, ah, this is crap, and just throw it away and then come back another few months later. So it rarely, it, it's not a quick thing for me. Knowing what your song is, you know, once you know that, you know, it's just craft then after that. They, they might inspire another lyric or something while you're focusing on trying to get back to that original simplicity and then that'll inspire another idea and, and you sort of have a patchwork quilt and you sort of uh, try to figure out how to make sense of it, you know. Chosen ones, it's a judgment call. And I don't need no proof, it's a judgment call. And we gotta keep the wheels in motion, and we gotta get the kids before. They I really admire songwriters who just write, and then when it's done, it's done, and they move on to the next song. But I just can't work that way personally. I just, I'm very slow, and I, I focus on one song for maybe even two years, you know, like I might. I think the trick for me is to always just have a backlog of stuff, you know? I very rarely, like, get a song finished in, in a day or whatever. It's, it's usually the beginnings of it happen in a day, and then a year and a half later I finish it or something, you know? Say if I've got an idea for a piece of music, it's, I, I just enjoy playing it and I might play it over and over again. I don't really know where it's going and then then it's a song. And, and I also have a lot of these uh, notebooks. That books. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And I'm always, always writing pieces in here and, and they turn into songs or pieces of stories that turn into songs. Messing around. I mean, the, the whole song is basically two chords, <laughs> so I was kind of just playing with them. And I think I'd had kind of an idea going around in my head, but that was a song where the bulk of the lyrics came from me just playing that over and over again and messing around with things and writing things down. And so yeah, the music came first. That song came from just messing with the kalimba. Actually. Sometimes it, uh, if I'm stuck for ideas, I find that like just picking up an instrument you don't normally play is really a good way to come up with something. And if you don't know how to play the instrument, it's even better. You know, if you kind of don't know what you're doing and you're messing around. Like, I never would have written that song if it wasn't for the kalimba. It totally came from that. Every little thing you think that you need Every little thing you think that you need Every little thing that's just feeding your greed No, oh, I bet that you'll be fine without me Every little thing that you gotta have Every little thing that you gotta have That you gotta reach for I could get it all in one, in one night but generally, it comes, it's again, I keep coming back to this idea of, of, of your, your idea, your core idea. Like you will start out with, with scraps. I could have a chord progression or a melody that just sits there for months, that it's not really been worked on, but uh, it's there. And then 
you might start to get the the idea for the song a, a rough outline of the idea again it's there but once you really hone in on it it'll be quick for me you know once once you really figure out what it is you got to say but it can it they could easily sit there for a long time but if you come in knowing your idea uh, you could do it in a, in a night easily when i wake in the morning and sharpen my blade and step in if i'm away traveling that's another story. If I find I've got some time at home here, I like to work on things in the morning and maybe leave it for the afternoon. It's, you know, there's so many facets to your life. I don't know that many people who are able to sit down in the morning and start writing until it gets dark again and not have anything else to do. Is there an office? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, not there is there isn't like one exact place that I would that I would use all the time. I guess there's certain places that I that I end up working in uh, more than others, but I'm kind of kind of happy once once it's quiet and once you have no distractions. I'm kind of happy to work wherever. It would generally just be my own bedroom wherever I happen to live at that time purely because I kind of know no one's going to come in while I'm in the middle of something. But it doesn't have to be a particular place. As long as it's fairly quiet and I'm on my own, there's not really any distractions and it doesn't matter really where it is. When you're busy touring stuff, it's very random, like very random. And you just, usually I just put stuff into my phone if I think of it or like, or I just put stuff into, if I have the computer handy, I'll, I'll just record something a cappella real quick or something. But when you're actually in the middle of working on an album, when you've got a bit of time off and you're actually at home, um, my experience was I, I'd begin, I'd start with a nine to five idea, and then I'd, that would slowly become a nine to eight, or, and then that would become a 12 till 12, you know, and then it becomes like 5 p.m. till 6 a.m., you know, it's like, and slowly the circle kind of, keeps moving and then you're kind of um yeah, you find yourself getting later and later and um, but it is important to kind of put aside a lot of time and to kind of close close the doors and everything else sitting in the dark whoa fighting in the silence thumping on our chest and howling something of a song Long before McCartney or Lennon came along Did anyone imagine that yesterday would come? Whoa, whoa. I love that feeling of not knowing where, where it comes from and you're writing and it's, it's kind of like a, comes automatically or something and you, you kind of lose yourself in it, you know? The sense of finishing a song where, where you realise that something happened in which you didn't quite um, understand is so... Like, uh, as, a, as a writer, I, I live for that moment. Like, the attitudes. The attitudes are calling The attitudes for me the attitudes are calling The attitudes for free The attitudes I harbor Are drowning underneath The attitudes are calling Now I sleep I love listening back to a demo that I've just spent two weeks working on and, and 
and just listen to it and hearing it as if someone else had written it and, and going and just being like wow so all those other weeks before that where nothing was happening they were actually worth something you know like it, obviously something was going on inside the brain but you didn't know what it was you know or, and the song is evidence of whatever was happening you know you have to be careful to refine it afterwards I, I, it's good sometimes maybe to just let it come out you know whatever it is but you have to look back at it afterwards and make sure it isn't just babble and that if you know, there's stuff in there that doesn't really mean it and it has to be replaced. Um, but sometimes it is good to do that because it can be great writing and be like, this is my idea, but I don't know, sometimes you get too fussy yeah. and I find it's better to just be fussy afterwards. You go, okay, all this happened, I don't really remember it happening, but okay, now I'm going to shape it, you know? That's nice because there's all this, all this material that you have in a raw state and, and you don't know where it came from, but obviously you identify with it and it's, you totally understand what what it is, but if you had um, sat down methodically to try and create that, it w wouldn't be the same, you know. If you don't surprise yourself, then the whole aim of writing a song is pointless. Like, if you know when you have a tiny idea that you can just rip apart and make a song out of it, you just feel it and you, most of the time you don't remember writing those particular lines, or, or the ones that are the hook, you know, or, or the ones that are the the most emotional part of the song, and then they're, they're always the best, you know. with that all the time so it's just that it's kind of like I feel like your level should go up all the time when you're writing your quality should improve all the time just in just in how you do it the, the words you choose the way you deliver it the way you sing it I think you, you in a way you, you you develop some kind of fitness you know it's it's still um, very it still takes a lot from you you know I suppose you get used to how things feel when they're working. And it, it gets easier in a way, uh, you get confidence, I suppose. Yeah, confidence is very important. <laughs> 